survivors, Wanderer here. Welcome back to Fallout 4 Frost. So we're in the Milton General Hospital. I'm assuming this is this town is called Milton. If it's the Milton General Hospital, I'd assume so anyway. Um, gonna be exploring and getting some stuff in here because hospitals in Frost typically have very good loot. Things like antibiotics that you can't get anywhere else or that are very hard to craft. And I do want to get the ability to craft that stuff. If I don't already. I think I do, yeah. So I can already do it, but like... Yeah, it's always good to get free ones. So we're going to be looking around in here. Getting all we can get. Now these guys... Pretty sure they are hostile. Get some booze going as well. Shouldn't be anything too dangerous here, really. Mostly just some really good loot. I'll probably have to stop here and dump some stuff off that I can't carry. I don't think I'll have room for everything. Yeah, we're going to try to get this place explored. Um, we got the coordinates last episode of the FMS Columbia. So our overall goal is to make our way over here. But while we're down here, I'm going to clear out this entire area and make sure that we've gotten everything we can get down here uh, for experience. And just any good loot we can get. All the alcohol, all the money. Ultimately, we are a scavenger. And we're trying to make our way... So we gotta make sure that we are efficient while we're down here and clearing out stuff. These robots aren't too tough. Okay, so it's not in here. One of these bathrooms... Maybe it's around the corner here, yeah. I think it's over here. Yes. One of these has, oh yes, stim pack, antibiotics, bandages, all kinds of of good, good stuff. Basically, if you're in a bad spot in the beginning of Frost, if you find yourself screwed and you get an infection or something like that, um, you pretty much have to make a beeline. Is this... No, it's uh, irradiated. But yeah, you pretty much have to make a beeline for one of these places. Now, I think those, even though they're irradiated, they won't give you dis give disease, so that's uh, nice. You know, like, I I regenerate my rads automatically now due to ghoulish. So, like, rads are really no longer a problem. Do we just go up here? How do we go upstairs? Is it just with the elevator? Oh, we're going down, actually. <clears throat> Okay, well that's fine too, I don't really care. Uh, but yeah, the hospital, I mean, for my character it's no problem, but... Please. For a low-level character just starting out, like, these things can be really dangerous. They can be really rough. You know, my character just beats the shit out of it, doesn't care, it's... Not a problem. But if you're low level, killing these things can be hard. I guess like with these guys, as long as you do enough damage, you can just stagger them pretty much indefinitely. Like that. Yep, we gotta keep drinking because we don't have enough carry weight right now. Blood packs, also useful. Whiskey, of course, also useful. Let's see what we got up here. Should be a safe up here, I think. Maybe not. Maybe I'm thinking of somebody somewhere else. Oh, 
Now, where does this one go? Back up? Let's go to a upper floor, or is it the same floor we were at before? I think this is the upper floor. Yeah, there should be new stuff up here. Some buff out. Mentat's always nice. Might let me get myself get to get a bit dehydrated. Just so I can get more procs off of uh, Idiot Savant. Will probably lead to more experience than anything else right now. That goes over here. Just out of curiosity. Yeah, it gives me rads. Just checking. I'm pretty sure there's only two places you can get purified water, and that's the Boston Mayoral Shelter. And, um... Another spot we were at. Which of the two boss mayoral shelter is a lot easier. Um, this is blocked off for whatever reason. Other spot being um, uh, Bunker Hill. Now I have depth of field on. There we go. Bunker Hill, of course, being really heavily guarded by uh, army remnants. And uh, one of them being in power armor. No, not a nice one. Stimpak, two antibiotics. Just a bunch of good stuff. I wonder if I can make any, um, anything on this chem station. I haven't used a chem station for a while. Kind of curious, actually. Yeah, we'll make glowing blood packs for sure. Um, drugs. Rape mentats? Yeah, probably. Buffed hats are good. I don't need to make too many of them. Psycho buff is also good. Overdrive, also good. I prefer to use Ultra Jet over Psycho Jet, and I think we have plenty of both right now. Although, Psycho Jet is a lot of damage. Go ahead and do that for now. It's free experience, right? Badges, um, I can make a whole bunch of these. 43 EXP each is not bad. Stim packs, I can make stim packs too. I think I'd prefer to make, um... I think I'd prefer to make other stuff though with those things, so I'll leave them for now. That's pretty good though. Get ourselves a beer. Hop back in the old power armor. That was a level two. Um, I'll uh, I'll check and see what I want to get later once I have more perks to spend. Because levels come pretty quick in uh, Frost. That goes out. Oh, hello. Protect attention. This is now a combat zone. You may suffer harm to end, including death. Dirty and disreputable, I should wonder. I'm going to look over here now. Not as much. Nothing there after all. Beastly nuisance. There might be some areas that you can't get into in Frost here. So I won't stress too much. 
if I hear things I can't get to. There's this go to downstairs. <clears throat> False alarm. Kind of a weird dungeon. Yeah, because there's, there's weird areas. As long as there's only one of these, you can just like strafe around them really easy and kill them. It takes a while if you have crappy weapons, but it's doable. Random Brahmin skull there. I wonder if that's placed by Nagram or the base game. Because it seems kind of out of place. I'm not going to pick up any more bottles, by the way. I just don't have room for them. Oh, out of Gwinnett Pale. Let's switch to something else here. Maybe just beer. Or how about some vodka? Not a fan of straight vodka. It's okay when mixed. Oh, hey, missiles. I don't really have room for them or a need for them at this point. Yeah, I'm not really a fan of straight vodka. It's good when mixed, you know, like in a sneaky Pete or something like that. I remember um, first time I had a Sneaky Pete, which is like basically vodka and orange juice, I think. Um, so my, my mom used to be a bartender, and we were at a family get-together. So of course we were drinking, because that's what we do at family get-togethers, we get drunk. Like my family get-togethers on my mom's side are pretty damn fun. And um, we're at the pool at uh, my aunt and uncle's house, back when they had their previous house, which had a pool. And, um, yeah, mom made some sneaky peats because Why she's used to be a bartender a long yeah. time ago. And, uh, yeah, I commented how good they were. And she just kind of laughed. Because I, I drank, like, three or four of them, I think. And then as I stood up, like, a little bit later and realized how drunk I was, it dawned on me, oh... That's why they call it a sneaky Pete, because it sneaks up on you. She had a pretty good laugh about that. But yeah, otherwise, not really a huge fan of vodka. I'm gonna call this good, even though I know there's more stuff in here, I don't really care. Like, I'm not gonna stress myself out over trying to get every last little thing in every last little area. We don't need it. We're looking for, like, the biggest chunk of EXP, and then we go on our way. Oh yeah, I was looking for a bed in here. I totally forgot I need to get a bed and sleep for tonight, because it's, like, really dark out. I'll look for that real quick back in here, and then we'll go to- we'll probably be on our way. Pretty sure I saw some beds in the second floor. In some patient rooms. I don't think those robots can get to us, so I think we ought to be okay. I guess I could go like this, right? This is all like a big lobby area. This only goes down. Oh, here's the guy I didn't kill, I guess. 
You upstairs? Oh, there you are. You the last one, my dude, because, like, it's getting a bit old. That's the last one. Good. Now, yeah, like, these beds... Yeah, we can sleep here, even though it's a bit precarious. We'll try We'll try one of these. We'll try over here. Get our sleep in for the night. Then be on our way in the morning. You do require eight hours, I think, to be well-rested, which, uh, I mean, we do want to be well-rested because why wouldn't we? Um, let's see here. So let's do some booze, food, water. There we go. And what did we get? Just insomnia. I don't care too much about insomnia. Yeah, it works for me. Okay, now we can head out. Actually go out on one of these. There's like an upper... Like, this connects to um, the parking area, too. The crazy... The crazy uh, trapped parking area, which I don't think I'm going to go through. I mean, there are some ghouls and stuff there, but it's kind of a high-risk thing. I don't really want to kill myself there, you know? Doesn't seem like the rewards justify the risk to this playthrough. Well, I know all of you are so committed to this playthrough and you don't want me to die. I'll check on top, though. This is far too sunny of a day for frost, so we're going to fix that. And I know that you're going to yell at me because I'm doing this outside, but... I think it'll be okay. Not a rad storm. I want overcast. Overcast 5. There we go. It looks like a frost day. Give it a save. Yeah, you can go... I don't think you can go back through this way. I'm pretty sure... Yeah, you have to go through the other way. Just a big trapped off like raider area in the base game. So there's the outside of Fallon's. We've already been over there. There's the West Roxbury Station. Over there. Already been over here. Already been to there. Um Shaw High School. We have not been to Shaw High School yet. That should have a bunch of ghouls in it. We'll check that out. Another one bites the dust. Hey, you got some fusion cells. Federation fatigues, huh? First mistake, last mistake. Let's do this, metal man. Imagine attacking somebody with a wrench that's in power armor. Seems like a bad idea, my dude. I'll take your laser musket, though, and drop it, just for the ammo. Not sure who they were fighting. Is this, this is Gunner's Plaza, isn't it? Did I go here? No, I definitely didn't. 
Oh man, this is uh, gonna be all U.S. Army remnants. So there's a dude with a fat man here. Um, it's kind of a bit dangerous. Come on. Come on. Shit. 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 Okay, we got her. Sniping is definitely the way to go here. Because, yeah, these guys will pull out a freaking fat man and roast you. So, uh, no thank you. Well, that's nice. Um, since we got that, let's chem up. Let's chem it up, boys. Do some daddy-o. Uh, some comics. Jet fuel. Medex. Overdrive, sure. Gotta live a little bit, you know. And then we'll have some water. Bring it. Got fatigue. Uh, let's see. What did we get here as far as... What are our stats up to here? 16 int. Um, what's affecting us here? Got 5 int from that. Oh, Barry Mentats. We need Barry Mentats. That's why. Kind of low on those, actually. Alright, we'll be all stealthy and stuff here. Because, yeah, these guys are dangerous. Like, yeah, this, this dude has a fat man. No thanks. No thanks. I'm just going to shoot him in the head. Might be one more guy up there, too. Getting detections, so there's definitely someone. Thankfully, they're not too tough, you know. That one has a missile launcher. Okay. I think that's the major threats eliminated on the outside. There's some more up there, but uh, that's the really dangerous stuff. I still have my missile launcher on me? No, I don't. Um, Alright, so what I'm going to do is take this. I'm just going to shoot them all so they can't use them on me. Like, I don't really care about... I don't really care about actually using it. I just don't want them to shoot me with it, you know? Okay. 
Threat eliminated. Next. Where's the guy with the fat man? He must have been further up. Or was it further down? Yeah, further up. Y yeah, um... We, uh... We don't want anybody hitting us with this thing. Not sure I actually saw the explosion there. There we go. Okay. I still have one? No, we're out. Okay. Good. A lot more comfortable now. Now I should see guys way before they see me, because I got Barry Mentats going, so it shouldn't be an issue. I think we got everybody, like I said. Um... Only issue is if we want to loot stuff out here, we gotta do it now because they will not be here likely when I go back out. If I go inside and come back out, they'll be gone. So let's, uh. And I realize I'm wasting my EXP buff. It's gonna be gone by the time I get inside. It's fine. Get some nice 5.56 ammo there for our guns. Got a couple people out here. One was right here. Handmade rifle. Did you give me a bunch of ammo for that? Uh, a little bit. Alright, I'm not gonna use this, but I'll keep the 7.62 ammo for sure. Was that it? I feel like I'm missing a couple here. This guy, I guess. That's probably it. Alright, let's go inside and take care of the guys inside. Get our drink back going again. This is a place you can go for some really good loot. Like, if you're careful, you can snipe from outside pretty easily. And get some really nice stuff. Um, do I have any... Ultra Jet? I only have one left. I do have Psycho Jet though, I'll just put Psycho Jet on four and use that instead. The damage buff doesn't stack. No, you're back there, survivor. No, there are mines out here, too. Maybe it's not army remnants, it's just survivors in here. If you're looking for schematics, this is a good place for schematics, too. As well as just a whole bunch of different junk that's useful. Where the hell did he go? Oh well, it's not a big deal. It's whatever. Are, are you totally naked? My dude. My dude, you're naked. Guy just running around in his underwear. He had an assault rifle. Apparently he was out of ammo, though. 
Recoil compensated, hardened. Um, hardened automatic is pretty good, but yeah, it's nowhere near the damage per shot of mine. Um, doesn't have a suppressor. Let me check this. Anything good? Quick eject drum. They have a night vision scope on it. Yeah, it's got a scope on it. I don't really want to scope, so. I want to. If anything. I think that's what I might. Well, let me just look through these real quick. So, so maybe I'll just like spam E and then drops if I don't want later. But now I'll just look through them properly real quick here. Yeah, there's a very good chance of schematics in these things. Well, not a, a very good chance, but there is, is a chance. Like, it, it can happen. Um, you're much more likely to find them here than anywhere else. Like, library and here are really good spots for them. So, if you are settlement building inclined in Frost, which uh, I don't know why you would be, but if you were then uh, this would be a place that you might want to go to look for some schematics. I heard a door. <laughs> Let's see, I heard a door. All right, fellas. Stuck. Okay, there is a... You can just go upstairs. You don't have to try and jump up there like I did. I was just trying to be cool. Probably not the best way of going about that. Should probably just take the stairs. That was a pretty good shot. At least we're getting some more ammo. I was kind of low there. Getting a lot of assault rifles. Though like a pristine, nice... Uh... Oh. We got a... Big boy and some power armor up here. Okay. Let's be kind of careful with that then. Come on, let me... Oh, sorry, I tripped. There's a whole bunch of guys over here. Master lock rip. It's gonna be hard to get. I wanna get this for my psycho. Well, time has stopped here, but I wanna get these guys killed before my psycho jet wears off. it. I think that's actually it. I mean, there are more people around here, obviously. Oh god, that was kind of close. Ooh! Okay. Oh, thank god is all he had was that. Kill, them all. Kill all the bugs, yes. Kill all the bugs. Very good. Bunch of raider stuff. Okay. Glad he just had a laser musket. Those don't really hurt that much. 
because he kind of shot me like right in the face. Let's see what we got in here. We're going further. Oh yeah, small guns. Critical damage. Shut up, radio. Decent chance of getting a schematic in these two master safes and stuff. That's it. Now Wes's holotape, I'm pretty sure that's uh base game. A lot of nice a lot of nice chems there. Wonder glue would be good too normally. I don't care too much about it now, because I have way too much adhesive as it is. Yeah, pretty good stuff. Random mini nuke in the fridge, of course. What else would you put in there? No, 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 no. This isn't real. This isn't real. This isn't. Real. Was that real? I don't know. You tell me, survivor. I think we're done here. Critical strike indeed. Anything in here? I think this is all base game stuff. There is a safe around here because there's a safe there. So where the hell is the actual safe at? So there's act there's like it says there's a safe I can unlock, so where is the safe? I wonder if one of my retextures is like covering up the safe. Oh, there it is. I'm a dumb. have a lot of money when we go back at least. Okay, I think we're done over here. Clear up there. Oh, 
check the rest of the lower area here real quick for loot. Bed here in case we want to sleep later. Good to note. And then back in here. Shotgun shells are actually a bit heavy. Pencils are good for lead, though. We need lead for... Is it Mentaps that uses lead? Something uses lead, I forget. It's good for something. Yeah, shotguns are a bit heavy, actually. To be using here. Alright, so, um... That's good. Get our Sandy back here. There is a, uh... Tripwire around here somewhere, I recall. I'm not seeing it. That Barry Mentats were off? Because, oh no, they didn't. Just wasn't working for some reason. Well, that was two really bad quick scopes. Good thing I'm in power armor. Not a fan of cherry flavored cola myself. It's a nice uh, pipe bolt action, but it's still a pipe bolt action, so yeah, it's not too good. One more guy out there somewhere. Surprised I haven't found a single. Um, yes. a single freaking um, schematic so far. It's kind of rare to have had that bad of luck. Blew someone's head off over here, pretty sure. Trying to make sure I don't miss them. These guys are also tricky with their 
grenade rigged stall doors. Yeah, those holotapes are definitely from the base game, not from Frost, so I'm not going to really worry about taking them, listening to them, etc. Gunners are a faction I wish they'd done more with. They're just the kind of uh, ambiguously evil mercenaries in the game. But of course, nothing's ever that black and white, right? I'm sure there are many shades of morally gray within uh, the Gunner's ranks. Which is why I think they could have been a lot more developed as a faction. And there are mods that develop them more as a faction, I know that, but I just, I'm just saying Bethesda should have done it themselves. Of course, these are not, these are not Gunners, they're Survivors in um, Frost, but, you know, you know, you know what I'm saying, like, you get what I'm saying. Still no schematics. Kind of shocked, guys, not gonna lie, kind of shocked. I think that's all. Wait, there's a door here. Nothing to note. Okay. Well, um, it's like one more guy to kill downstairs. There's a lower area too. There's a there's a um, there's an elevator on top you can get into. Where'd the guy go though? Didn't check. I didn't finish checking down here either. I cut my looting short because I was worried about people shooting at me and stuff, you know? Never know when someone's gonna have a missile launcher and just one-shot you, even through all your explosive shooting power armor. Because that's a thing in Frost, they will. think I tossed all this stuff. Yep, already been through there. Pretty easy to miss stuff through these though, but it's not, again, it's not a huge deal. Like I don't need stuff that badly. Looting out of habit more than anything. Press 50 cal sniper rifle. Take a look at this thing. Ooh, it's a nice one. I might keep that for sniping. That's really nice. Suppressor and everything on it. As long as it's not too heavy. If I can make room for it, which I think I can. If I need to shoot a death claw from afar or something, I'll use that. Plus, like, I just, I have 50 cal rounds sitting around that I could use, so might as well. There's the guy. Keeps disappearing for me, though, which is weird. Ooh, like, everything wore off. Not good. Good enough. Calm down there, buddy. Don't want to tell everybody you're here. Or do you? I mean, maybe you do.
Okay, it's a bit odd now. Like I keep I keep seeing this dude um with my very men attached and I don't see him. Maybe I'm going insane. Probably not though. Uh, we need some more booze, and it's going to be, um, we're almost out, actually. Maybe it's, um, maybe it's Sandy-related. Okay, so yeah, there's, um, there's a elevator we can go out to and go up to the, go down to the lower level, and there's even more stuff down there. Yeah, I, I don't see this unless he went outside, or I'm actually losing my sanity. I don't know. Like it, it'd be like Nagram to put sanity effects in and not tell anybody about it. It is a possibility. Probably gonna sleep here for the night again too. I did just lose my Barry Mentats, so I probably want to use those so I can see people again. Almost out, actually. Severely dehydrated. What are we at now for our... Okay, only at nine. It's like... It's not low enough to proc it Savant more reliably, so... Since I don't have a better chance of procking yet, Savannah, I feel like I should just go ahead and buff up my inn as much as I can. You had some nice stuff, too. Oh, no, I want... Oh, whatever. I don't care that much about that psycho. You had a nice sniper rifle, too. Well, not as nice as mine. Not see much. Not that it matters. Powerful combat sniper rifle. That's not bad either. Not bad at all, really. Quality caliber receiver. Should be a fusion core in here somewhere, too. That sucks. Didn't have much on you there, survivor. I need more booze. More beds out here, but they probably count as outdoor beds, which like they might get me sick more likely. All that stuff in here except for um, take my Abraxo and my money. Everything else, just leave it in here. Yeah, 
Yeah, there's a fusion core. I can carry it. Okay. I'm pretty sure everybody's dead. All right, let's clean out the downstairs. Quite a bit down here to clean out. And probably call it an episode. Haven't saved in a long ass time, but I get one in before I crash. Someone just died on their own accord over there. No, 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 no. Uh, yeah. uh. Uh. Took one look and said, nah, fuck that. Can't say I blame you, my dude. Really, like, boost does not last very long. launcher that dude dead? Because that could have ended quite badly. I... Yeah, I got him. Ooh, that could have ended badly. Thank you, grenade. I mean, realistically, it probably would have missed, but... Could have been really bad. Damn, does a lot of damage. Um, 78. Plus the rad damage. It's all fun and games, so someone whips out the missile launcher, and then you gotta kinda 
Be careful. Hardened automatic radium rifle. Oh my god, that has a lot of DPS. Because of the rad damage, obviously. Sounds cool as shit. Prefer the ability to, to snipe, though. I did again. Glad you guys enjoyed. I like don't even want to keep that fungal purge my inventory because I just kill myself with it. Ooh, nice. Two antibiotics there. That's cool. Bad. Not bad at all. I'm seeing a lot more, like, much more dangerous enemies this time around in Frost. Like, lots more people that have missile launchers, random uh, survivors that have really dangerous weapons that are well armored and stuff. Like, that. That guy would have been tough to take down. You were a newbie. I mean, I guess not, though, if you have a grenade. Not like I had... I mean, I had good weapons, but I didn't have, like, super advanced weapons or anything. I just threw a grenade at him and stealthed, and he died. Not a huge deal. More antibiotics. This has been great for antibiotics. Okay. Pretty sure we're clear. Just gonna check my corpses over here. Can't jump off of here. There we go. Getting our save in there. Impact grenades are really good. They're pretty rare. Um, but, like, they're good for... Like, if you have a bunch of ghouls charging you, you can toss one. It'll blow up as soon as it impacts on the ghoul or the ground or whatever around them. Which is great. It's great if you have people charging you. Grenades are obviously nice if you need to throw them into... You know, regular grenades are nice if you need to throw them into a, an area you can't get to, like, bounce it off of a wall or something. Great for shooting around corners, basically, and uh, taking out people that way. Alright, I'm pretty sure we're done here completely. I'm gonna go back over here and... Um, I guess we'll go in the main building and sleep for the night. Seems like the play. Quite profitable, though. Need some more booze, some more water. Dumping that stuff out so I don't use it on accident. Take some death claw steak, some water. I would do it on water. And eh, we still got 20, we're good. Good for a bit longer before we have to go back and get any more. Alright, so outside it is. Then back in. Then sleep for the night and hope this random guy that I kept seeing doesn't actually exist because I, I don't know, it's weird. I kept seeing him with Bray Mentats, but I never could find him. Yeah, there was, um. 
Oh, you know, it could have been this, honestly. It could have been that. Maybe that's what I was seeing. Someone out there is yelling at me the whole time, saying, You idiot, it was the robot you were seeing. Yeah, there was a bed around one of these, I think. So I thought. Yeah, there's a bed over here. Alright, we'll use this. Oh, we can't? Really? It's not a real bed? Well, that's bullshit. Okay, fine. Upstairs we go. Where does this go to? Is this a separate entrance to that lower area that I just didn't realize? Or does it go outside? Yeah, different entrance to the lower area, I think, that I just missed before. I mean, I was right over here before. I just didn't see it because I'm a dummy. Okay, back up we go. Oh yeah, my my uh, dynamic crosshair is like ridiculously large right now because I'm insane. That's like what my accuracy is, by the way. Except when you're scoped. Doesn't matter when you scope in. Apparently that was something that he wanted to fix, but he couldn't. He did it. He did fix it with uh, laser weapons, but with ballistic weapons, he was never able to fix it because of how ballistic weapons work. They use hit scan. Suppose if you're... Well, I mean, I guess, like, laser weapons do, too. I don't know. I don't know. It's weird. Just weird. Forgot this area, too, apparently. And still no schematics. Not, not that I really care. I think I have all the good schematics already. I'm just... They're, they're worth a lot. And I'm surprised I haven't seen any... Bed in here? Yeah, there's beds in here. Okay, this works. This will do. Alright, guys. Well, this is where I think I leave you for this episode. So, thanks so much for watching, and we'll continue on the next one.